Hi guys. How are you YouTubers and the modeling community doing? I'm not doing too bad tonight. Um, just going to go over a couple things tonight. Um, Twisted Sniper. Yes. Twisted Sniper asked a couple questions the other night on a video. Um, scratch build. Why? Well, I don't really do much scratch building right now. Um, but it is in the works. I There's a few builds that I want to do that I'm going to have to either sink or swim. So I've got to either do it or not. And I'm going to do it because that's just kind of guy I am. And he also asked uh, who influenced us the most. Or just who influenced us. But, um, and I have to say that, you know, there's a lot of guys out there, you know, watching the YouTube videos and you know, doing some research on the internet. I mean, there is a plethora of people that have inspired me. Um, to name a few, um, Dr. Cranky, because of his personality, how crazy he is, it's awesome. Love that love that guy for, you know, his, his flair and the way he goes about doing things. Um, Chris Chapman, down-to-earth, nice guy. You know, he seems like the guy that bent over backwards for you. Um, and he's got some really good stuff out there too. Um, Chris over Classic Plastic, dude's amazing. And CT Speed Shop, again, dude's amazing. They all inspire me for different reasons. You know, it just, you know, I can list, the, the list goes on. MC Model Works, you know, 420 Garage, some of his stuff is really cool. Uh, Mario, he's got some cool stuff out there. I mean, there's... A, just so many people, you know, and sitting there and watching their videos, and I look at mine, and I'm like, well, I suck. But a lot of these guys have been doing it a heck of a lot longer than I have, or have gotten back into it well before I have. Um, so I look forward to seeing how I progress as a modeler, not being new, but as a new returnee to the modeling community. I look forward, you know, in a year's time to see, okay, where has I progressed from and where I'm at now. Um, and it's a fun ride. I'm enjoying it. You know, even I'm doing some other things that are, you know, they're, you know, kind of like uh, um, Roadhog. He's out of his comfort zone on some things. This guy's out of his comfort zone. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, you got to do that. You know, you got to step out. You got to you got to go beyond what you think you're capable of doing. And you've got to try because if you don't try, guess what? You're never going to know if you can do it or not. And I'm one of those guys that I'll try it at least once. And if I like it, I might try it again. Um, so um, that was my answers to Twisted Sniper. Like I said, you know, there's just a plethora of people, you know, great group of guys on the YouTube community, just, you know, in the modeling community in, at large, I mean, they're just, they're awesome, you know, and I look forward to getting to know these guys better, and, you know, communicating with them has been cool so far, and I can't see it changing, so, um, yeah, that's my answer. Um, hmm. so I'm going to take the camera again. I know you guys are tired of hearing me say this, but I'm going to flip you. And I'm going to uh, reset everything and show you what's what I got going on. Um, I made a little bit more progress on the uh, 56. I think it looks cool so far, but then again, I suck, so what do I know? Um, anything looks good to me at this point. Um, but it's coming along. I finally got my base coats done. Um, now I'm just, you know, I put my flat or my satin clear on it. Now I'm going to go back and do the salt technique. Ooh, scary stuff right there. Um, the salt technique on it to the best of my ability and see how that turns out. Um, and I also picked up a couple things at Hobby Lobby. I used to do them a long time ago. They've changed. Oh my God, they've changed. Uh, yeah, so 
I'll be back. Don't go nowhere. I'll be back. Hello again. Welcome back. All right. Here we go on our little workbench upgrade or update. Not grade. Update. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. All right. Well, I did break out the El Camino again today for a couple minutes anyway. Um, and I did what Chris suggested. Let's see if I can ooh, get that. Let's see if it'll zoom in and focus. Oh, probably not. Oh, there it is. Look at that, folks. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, I did the baking powder and CA glue thing. I know. It's horrible. It looks like a mess right now. But, like I said, I just did it a few minutes ago. And uh, it's still got to sit there and dry and all that good stuff. So, yeah, it'll eventually, you know, I'll sand it out and... Hopefully it'll give me something at least similar to the pattern that I'm looking for. I mean, you can't really tell, but it's, you know, it's a vinyl roof, you know. So I'm hoping that that will eventually turn out pretty good. I got a lot of sanding and stuff to do because I just kind of gooped it on there. You know, I didn't, you know, with a toothpick, I should have brought, up, bought, bleh, brought out my spatula set, but I didn't. Live and learn. It is what it is. So, and toothpicks are disposable. Where cleaning up my spatula set is a pain in the butt. So, next item of business. Uh, this light is just killing me. I'm hoping, against all hope, that you guys can see this. Oh, probably not. Okay, I'm going to have to have some light on it anyway. Some indirect light, maybe. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to do what we can do here. Um, but anyway, I got my primer coat on, and then I went back and I airbrushed some of the uh, darker colors and lighter colors. You know, I got some burnt sienna on there, burnt umber, um, some brown oxide, and some red rust. And it's just not focusing worth a poo. Because this thing sucks. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I'm, you can see some of the discoloration in there. So that's my base coats on these. Um, I just put my uh, I put the satin clear on there because I was afraid since I'm using acrylics. When I put the salt on there, even though I did hair dry it, you know, I just didn't want to take the chance of it, um, you know, ruining my acrylics when I sprayed the water on there for salt. So, yeah, you know, yeah, I got some really dark areas, some, and I put some extra brown in there, and, when, and I'm going to cover that up with quite a bit of salt and make it speckly, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Um, and then I got the big spot on the roof, you know, the sun-damaged roof area. And we'll see how that turns out. And I got some of the firewall stuff going on. The fenders. And then, you know... On this side, I got some dark areas and some light areas and some yes and the other areas and we'll see how all that turns out when I put the salt on it and spray the the top coat. You know, like I said, this is my first one, so you never know. It may turn out great. It may turn out like poo, but you know what? I'm trying, and that's what's important, right? I'm trying something new, something different. So, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. So, that's that. And I went out the other day and I had breakfast camping with the family. And then I was like, well, it's early. And I'm not fishing today. So, let's go down to Hobby Lobby. Yay, Hobby Lobby. So, I went down there. And what 
did I find? I found a sale. Yes, folks. Eight dollars and sixty-three cents for the Cheville the Chevelle Pro Street, the 67. And $8.99 for the Dodge Cornet. The Foose Edition. So I bought all of them they had. They had two of each. So I bought two of each. And then I was down there and I was like, okay, let's go over to, you know, one of the local hobby shops down there. And I did, and I walked out with. This is kind of scary. Are you ready? Yep. Full armor unicorn Gundam destroy mode. Man, let me tell you what. These things have freaking changed over the years. Holy crap on a cracker. Man, they're crazy good. You know, and there's so many parts. Oh my god. You think a uh, hundred parts in the car kit's a lot? These things have like 200, 300 parts. They're crazy ridiculous. Well, nowadays, I did. This is the only one I could actually find that I did a, back in the day. Uh, Death Wing, Death Side Hell. Uh, I, I did him a long time ago. He, I think he came out in 90 is when I did him because I got him right when he was right when they hit the market over here in the United States so I think it was 1990 and I bought him and I just you know put him together straight out of the box so and then I bought a few more and then I we moved and I stored them and I don't know where they're at so I can't find them only one I found was him, and that's only because he was in with my car models and my paints and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go looking for more. Um, oh, yeah, while we're here, uh, ta -da! the Hemi is completely finished now. It's done. Put all the sponsor logos on. I put the 426 Hemi. Come on, focus. Thank you. 426 Hemi sticker on there. So it is now completely stamped and done. So that is what I've got going on. So again, in review, still working on the El Camino. Starting trying my hand at the rusting. Kind of scary. And then all kinds of new stuff to look forward to eventually. So, with that, I'm going to call it a night and get this uploaded for you guys to look at and pick on me about. No, I'm just kidding. I do love I do love all the hints and the tips and everything you guys are giving me um, on my you know when I put up a put up a video. It's awesome. Keep them coming, guys. Please. Constructive criticism helps me a lot, and those tips are amazing. Thank you. Um, so, with that, this is Wayne slash Winkster. I'm out. Peace. Y'all keep building now.